education loans for helping our youth who have not been eligible for any benefit under government schemes and policies, I am happy to announce a financial support for loans up to 10 lakh rupees for higher education in domestic institutions. E-vouchers for this purpose e-vouchers for this purpose will be given directly to 1 lakh students every year for annual interest subvention of 3% of the loan amount. Priority 3, inclusive human resource development and social justice, saturation approach. Our government is committed to all-round, all-pervasive and all-inclusive development of people, particularly farmers, youth, women and the poor. For achieving social justice comprehensively, the saturation approach of covering all eligible people through various programs, including those for education and health, will be adopted to empower them by improving their capabilities. Implementation of schemes meant for supporting economic activities by craftsmen, artisans, self-help groups, scheduled caste, scheduled tribe, and women entrepreneurs and street vendors such as the PM Vishwakarma, PM Swanidhi, National Livelihood Missions, and Stand Up India will be stepped up. Purvodhya. The states in the eastern part of their country are rich in endowments and have strong cultural traditions. We will formulate a plan, Purvodhya, for, all round, for the all-round development of the eastern region of the country covering Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. This will cover human resource development infrastructure and generation of economic opportunities to make the region an engine to attain Vikasit Bharat. On the Amritsar Kolkata Industrial Corridor, we will support development of an industrial node at Gaya. This corridor will catalyze industrial development of the eastern region. The industrial node at Gaya will also be a good model for developing our ancient centers of cultural importance into future centers of modern economy. This model shall showcase Vikas B, Virasat B in our growth trajectory. We will also support development of road connectivity projects, namely one. Patna Purnia Expressway, 2. Baksar Bagalpur Expressway, 3. Bodh Gaya, Rajgir, Vaishali, and Darbanga Spurs, and 4. Additional two lane bridge over River Ganga at Baksar at a total cost of 26,000 crore rupees. Power projects, including setting up of a new 2,400 megawatt power plant are at Pir Penti, will be taken up at a cost of 21,400 crore rupees. New airports, medical colleges, and sports infrastructure in Bihar will be constructed. An additional allocation to support capital investments will be provided. The requests of Bihar government for external assistance from multilateral development banks will be expedited. Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Our government 
has made concerted efforts to fulfill the commitments in Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. Reorg recognizing, recognizing the state's need for the capital, recognizing, a, recognizing the state's need for a capital, we will facilitate fi special financial support through multilateral development agencies. In the current financial year, 15,000 crore rupees will be arranged with additional amounts in future years. Our government is fully committed to financing and early completion of the Polavaram irrigation project. Which is the lifeline? Which is the lifeline for Andhra Pradesh and its farmers? This will facilitate our country's food security as well. Under the Act, under the Act, Andhra Pradesh Reorganisation Act, for promoting industrial development, funds will be provided for essential infrastructure such as water, power, railways, and roads in Koparthi Node on the Vishagapatnam chennai Industrial Corridor and Varavakal Node on the Hyderabad-Bengalore Industrial Corridor. An additional allocation will be provided this year towards capital investment for economic growth. Grants for backward regions of Rayalaseema, Prakasham, North Coastal Andhra, as stated in the Act, will be provided. PM Awas Yojana. Three crore additional houses under the PM Awas Yojana in rural and urban areas in the country have been announced for which the necessary allocations are being made. Women-led development. For promoting women-led development, the budget carries an allocation of more than 3 lakh crore for schemes benefiting women and girls. The signals, this signals our government's commitment for enhancing women's role in economic development. Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan For improving the socio-economic condition of tribal communities, we will launch the Pradhan Mantri Janjatiya Unnat Gram Abhiyan by adopting saturation coverage for tribal families in tribal majority villages and aspirational districts. This will cover 63,000 villages benefiting 5 crore tribal people. Bank branches in northeastern region. More than 100 branches of India Post Payment Bank will be set up in the northeast region to expand the banking services. This year, I have made a provision of 2.66 lakh crore rupees for rural development, including rural infrastructure. Priority four, manufacturing and services, support for promotion of MSMEs. This budget provides special attention to MSMEs and manufacturing, particularly labor intensive manufacturing. We have formulated a package covering financing, regulatory changes, and technology support for MSMEs to help them grow and also compete globally, as mentioned in the interim budget. I am happy to announce the following specific measures. Credit guarantee scheme for MSMEs in the manufacturing sector. For facilitating term loans to MSMEs for purchase of machinery and equipment without collateral or third-party guarantee 
a credit guarantee scheme will be introduced. The scheme will operate on pooling of credit risks of such MSMEs.